Good afternoon, sir. My name is Sri Kumar, sir. Yeah, very good afternoon, sir. Can I get your resume? Yes, sir. Sure. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Sri Kumar. I am coming from Prakasham, Andhra Pradesh. I have completed BSc Computers in the stream of Computer Science in the year of 2021. With an aggregate of 78%, uh, I have completed my intermediate in Kamala Junior College in Markapuram. And I have completed SSC in JPH High School in Kaljula Padu. And coming to my strengths, uh, self-motivating and uh, adaptable to any environment. Like the project name is School Management System. For this project, I am using different types of technologies like uh, ASP.NET, ADO.NET, C Sharp, and uh, database SQL Server. And uh, front-end technologies are also I am using like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And uh, coming to my hobbies, playing cricket. And uh, my I belongs to a nuclear family. My father is a businessman, and my mother is a housewife, and my brother is a job holder, and my younger brother is a studying in diploma. Short term goal is to get a job in reputed organization, and my long term goal is to get a job in higher position in the same organization. That's all I put it me. Thank you so much, sir. It's very nice about you, Sujay. Yes, so, uh, you said about your project. So, tell me about what is the difference between front end and back end technologies. Front end technologies are uh, user friendly. Technologies and the backend technologies are uh, uh, server side technologies. Like uh, we will show the database, like uh, SQL Server, we will use that database. Client side applications and uh, server side technologies are also using uh, database storing purpose. Okay. What is the difference between uh, server side events? Like when you are going to call client side technologies and server side technologies. Yes, sir. Under ASP, we have two things. Yes, sir. What is client side and server side technologies? Sessions, cookies, we have there. Yes, sir. What is the difference between cookies or uh, client-side technology and server-side technology? Yes, sir. Sessions or cookies are mostly important. We will use uh, web applications like uh, like web pages or web forms. We will use the sessions and cookies. But uh, sessions and cookies are logging the credentials. After sometimes we will exit the uh, web page. So that's the most difference between uh, sessions and uh, cookies. We will use those purpose. What is C-Sharp programming language? Yes, sir. C-Sharp is an object-oriented programming language. We will use mostly C-Sharp web applications for desktop applications. These applications are by using C-Sharp. And C-Sharp was introduced in micro, uh, Microsoft was introduced technology. And uh, this type of Microsoft technologies are owned by Bill Gates. Okay. Thank you. What are the different data types we have under C-Sharp? Yes, sir. We will store the value in the container. These type of values are called data types. Data types are two types value type data types and the difference type data types value type data types are like nothing but int float double and the reference type data types are like nothing but interfaces classes and strings now what is the difference between boxing and unboxing yes sir boxing is nothing but uh, converting value type to reference type and unboxing is nothing but uh, reference type to value type That's so when you come to uh, conditional statements what are the different conditional statements we have yes sir conditional statements are nothing but we will once the condition is true, the executor will be if black will be executed, otherwise else black will be executed. Mostly we will use the conditional operators are nothing but for loop, while loop, okay. so, and for each loop. Yes. So generally when we use this uh, loop means? Loops are nothing but we will how many times are losing loops iterating through. Once we will declare the, we will execute the for loop and while loop and do while loop and for each loop. So, uh, when you are going for programming, okay, uh, like when you are going to write some conditions, okay, sir. so how exactly we need to write uh, when we go for equals conditions and when we go for uh, loop statements? Yes, sir. We will go to if conditions. So, one condition we will use if condition. We will iterate the so many times we will use for loops. Okay, so you, uh, what are the four major principles under loops? Yes, sir. Uh, abstraction and encapsulation and polymorphism and an inheritance are four pillars of object oriented programming language. What is inheritance? Yes, sir. Inheritance is nothing but parent child relationship between. Parent will have a lot of methods and a uh, lot of fields. We will access through child class also. This is nothing but inheritance. What is an abstract class? Secret data and method implementation. So, what are the difference uh, between um, static? And non static, yes, sir. Once we will fix the static keyword in the method or nothing class, we will not accessible through other class methods. So, we will not access others out of the class and out of the methods. We will only access inside the class or inside the method only.
so that's the starting method static is nothing but class and fixed method fixed keyword what are the access modifiers we have yes sir access modifiers are nothing but clauses and methods access modifiers are five, type, five types nothing but public private and protected internal and internal these are called five types of access modifiers constructor will be called in the class interface object is created what is asp.net yes sir asp.net asp means active server field once we will develop the different types of applications like uh, web applications and uh, windows applications and uh, desktop applications and mobile applications these type of applications we will develop the by using asp.net and asp.net mainly we will use the server side technologies what is sql server sir sql server means structured query language structured query language is nothing but a relational database management system there are two types of sql server databases like dbms and rdbms dbms is nothing but database management system rdbms is nothing but relational database management system what are dml ddl dcl and dcl yes sir dml means data manipulation language and ddl means data definition language dmls are nothing but uh, insert and update and delete and dml dml commands are uh, select and uh, insert and uh, it's nice, it was nice uh, to talk to thank you, you sir and the question and answer question and answer what are you doing it was very pretty good okay sir okay. So I'll stop it there and in case if I have anything I'll just let you know. Okay, okay sir, thank you sir. Thank you.